spawning down in the bottom left hand position as the red zerg player representing team acer it's nurcio and his opponent in the top left it is the teal zerg representing core eu johnny rico so of course we saw nurcio just now defeat slivko 2-1 in a best of three so that's always some cool times whereas johnny rico he went up against lima and 2 owed in that series this is the monthly final so of course all the players have worked their way to get here to get a chunk of the prize money which they all no doubtedly do want rico is going to be opening with a early pool that was a 10 pool coming down from him i'm interested to see how nurcio opens in his games up against slivko he was mainly opening a kind of, I believe it was a 15 pool and then a 15 gas as well. So nice and early. It may have actually been 15 14. Can't recall precisely. I'll have to keep an eye on it this game. But that allowed him to get speed down pretty quick. Rico went for an extractor trick. Is going to be keeping the other extractor coming up. This could indicate a lot of early aggression. So there we go. 15 pool came down there from Nurcio. Um, and it, yeah, it must have been 15-15 if he does get the gas now. Yeah, there we go. So it was 15-15 that he was doing previously. And that's all very safe. Um, he needs to identify that this is coming. And Nurcio will now know where Johnny Rico spawned. And of course, Johnny Rico knows where Nurcio spawns. Just because of where these overlords bump heads. If they bump heads in the middle, it means that obviously you both scatter the same way very quickly. So... Johnny Rico at the moment getting out 8 Zerglings. He's also got his gas coming in nicely. He should pull drones out of gas, I would imagine, unless he's going to follow this up with Banelings. And, well, it looks like he's not pulling it yet. Starting up speed. And, yeah, Lings making their way across the map. Currently, Nurcio sitting there, getting out just a couple of Zerglings of his own for there. But up against 8, that doesn't fare too well, especially since Rico has speed on its way. He's also about to go and make a Baneling Nest, I suspect. Um, there we go, Baneling Nest coming down. He keeps two drones in there, which allow more production. Johnny Rico hiding some of these lings, it would appear. Running them down to the watchtower. Just trying to keep an eye on where Nurcio's overlords are. Should be able to see this overlord coming in now. And of course, need to respond to that by running them out. If these Zerglings are seen, that would be a massive loss there for Johnny Rico. And he's keeping all of them there. Nurcio with a money scout down. And now knows precisely what's coming, but he's droning currently. No second queen in production, so he can't wall off this ramp quite yet. Johnny Rico's baning nest nearly done, but he's already coming in now with the pressure. The natural base could be in some problems. Spine Caller getting started in the mineral line, and this is very important for Nurcio to do. His hatchery could get cancelled. It almost certainly will get cancelled. A couple of banelings morphing in here. They need to get protected. And for the moment, Rico just being very, very aggressive. He's not running behind this. Getting more banelings out. Lings in production for Nurcio. He has no baneling nest. The cancel comes down on that hatchery. So now they are on equal bases. The drone count favouring Nurcio by five though. Will Johnny Rico be able to do much damage here? Wandering in with the banelings. Detonation's coming down. Nice hit. The queen is dead too. Johnny Rico still pressing in with two Banelings. That's more than enough. The Spine Caller will help deter too much more future aggression. But just a couple of nice hits could be massive. A few more drones put on red health. But Nurcio able to defend. 11 workers to 10. The army supply though in Nurcio's favour. He's got a big swirl of Speedlings coming across the map. The one thing that will be helpful are the Banelings that Johnny Rico has available to him. One or two good detonations and everything's sweet. However, can he actually see the fact that these speedlings are running by? It looks like, no, he didn't catch it quite there. So unfortunately, he's not going to get Banelings back in time. The Banelings going to go on an offensive run at the moment. Maybe going to pick off reinforcements. But Nurcio now coming in. And Johnny Rico realizes just by where he morphed those Banelings that unfortunately it wasn't going to work out. Nurcio, therefore, does go 1-0 up. 